Hi guys, I'm back. Um, I'm going to be doing a um, bottle review, formula review, and why I ended up going to formula all in one video. Um, I have used two bottles since Jordan was born and stuck with one formula, so it'd be super easy. Um, first, I want to start out with why I went to formula. Um, if you guys have seen my labor and delivery video, um, labor and delivery story, it is on my channel. Go ahead and check it out. So when Jordan was first born, she would latch and um, would latch off and on. And by the last day, she was latching really, really good. And when I say that, I mean better than what she was because she wouldn't latch for long periods of time. Um, so we got home and it, it makes more sense if you watch my labor and delivery story first and then watch this video. So by the time I got home, um, I would put her on my boob and I'd switch back and forth because she almost favored my left boob rather than my right. And um, she would latch and then I don't know if I just wasn't, I'd hold her as like close as possible and like get her head and sometimes she would latch really good and I could feel her, you know, drinking milk and I could hear it, she was swallowing, and then she would let go. And I tried a nipple shield, which I don't have with me, but I will pull it up and um, I'll insert one here and I'll insert the name. I tried two, but the one I really used because it was like like flimsier, um, I'll link it here and on the screen. I don't have it with me, it's in my storage stuff, but um, I used that and it actually helped um, for about like half the day, I only remember because it was a short period of time before I started pumping. So, um, I used the nipple shield and sometimes she latched, sometimes she wouldn't. So I started pumping. I have a Medela pump, which is out in storage and, um, but I have, it was the double one so I could do both breasts at once. So I did that for three months. It was like two month, two months and three weeks or something. I mean, and I uh, stopped breast breast pumping about a week before I was going to work, and this is why. So after I realized she was not latching, she was not eating, she wasn't like I don't know. It was just so frustrating to me because I just wanted her to latch like she was ten minutes ago, and she just wouldn't. So I ended up pumping for that long. Um, I'd pump every. She didn't have for, she had a formula twice in the hospital. And she had the formula that I'm gonna go. I'm gonna do a review on and show you in this video. And um, so we ended up buying the Dr. Brown's bottles, and this is just the four ounce one. So I ended up pumping, and every time I pumped, she would feed, and I actually built up a supply. My milk came to one of my milk did come down. It came down really quick, and a lot of it. Um, I'd pump from one breast probably seven, eight ounces, and the other one six, seven ounces. My right, and I don't know if it's because she favored my left boob more, um, then it kind of like stayed like that. I was not sure why, but I got more out of my left boob than my right. I'd pump um, every two hours for the first like four weeks, um, and it was not painful. Um, a lot of people I've talked to breastfeeding, a lot of videos I've watched breastfeeding, I hear it's very painful. And I've never had my nipples crack, my nipples bleed, anything like that. I use the Lanzanol cream on my boobs and even though I wasn't breastfeeding it helped because my nip my nipples would get more sore than anything. So I um, would pump and feed her and I'd built a supply. Then it got closer and closer to my maternity leave date to where I'd have to go back to work. And at that time, I was stressed because I didn't have enough milk. I already knew that. And I could pump at work, but at this point, she was eating so much. When she got home, she was eating like three ounces of breast milk. And then all of a sudden, she jumped up to six ounces, like literally within like weeks. And I'm like, okay. I'm like, at first, I'm like, this is maybe just a growth spurt. She's eating a lot and sleeping a lot. And I've talked to other parents and they're like, yeah, that's a lot for her, you know, especially if she's eating like every two or three hours. 
she would keep it down. She never threw up. She didn't have acid reflux. She didn't have anything. The only problem Jordan had when she was younger was um, the hiccups. Even if I fed her a little bit and burped her and finished her bottle and burped her again, she'd still get hiccups. So not every time, but it was a lot. And we just used the Baby Bliss grape water and that worked like a charm every time. So I already knew I was not going to have enough milk to have like feed her while I was gone and me I work 10 hour days at 7 to 5 30 I come home I make dinner and I could pump but I have to pump twice at work and then pump at night and then that's basically her feedings for the next day and that was just too much for me so I ended up um, gradually switching her to formula before I even went to work and I'm just going to show you real quick what I used and then I'll go back and show you what my reviews are on these. So this is what she used in the hospital. It's a Similac uh, sensitive for fussiness, gas, and due to lactose sensitive sensitivity. So that's it. Um, uh, once she switched to this, because she, she already had it and I knew in the hospital she didn't really have a reaction to it. She didn't spit up. She didn't have like diarrhea, nothing like that. She didn't have no reaction to it. So this is the one I chose and I thank God that she took it and took it well because I know I have a friend that had to switch like seven formulas because her baby would throw up, have diarrhea, and it was just horrible for her. And so I was hoping I would not have to go through that and I didn't, thank God. So that is the story of my breastfeeding problems. She would not latch and it got closer and closer to my maternity where there was no way I was going to make enough supply um, because she did jump from two, three ounces to six ounces all of a sudden. And it might not sound like a lot, but if you breastfed or pumped, you know, that's like, holy heck, how am I going to get that out of my one boob? And yes, I would pump seven ounces, eight ounces, but that's four bottles right there. And she'd drink every two or three hours. So as soon as she jumped from six to six ounces, it got harder. And I am glad that I pumped for three months it was hard but I'm glad I did and I'm very glad that she took Similac very very well so back to these bottles these are the bottles I bought first and I'm gonna take it apart and show you why I like these bottles so I like them because they're thinner and you know I don't know I just like the look of the bottles and not just because of the look but I did um, review and see a lot of I looked up reviews and seen a lot of videos and stuff like that and I seen these Dr. Brown bottles and because everyone was talking about this thing that's in this. So it's just to let the air out of your bottle. Um, so with this, when I first seen these, I'm like, okay, that's like a lot of parts. Who has time to clean all this stuff? I do. <laughs> I bought the bottles and I love them. This is the nipple. So, um, it says to prevent leaks. Okay, so this is one thing I like on this thing right here. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to raise it. To prevent leaks, do not fill above line. So, of course, there's a line on every bottle. But I do like that because at night when you're putting your milk into a bottle and you're tired, I'm like, okay, where do I see? I see a bunch of numbers, but I like that. So, um, yeah, I do like these. I did not switch because I didn't like these. I just could not find it in a bigger size. I went to Walmart. I went to Target. I went everywhere. I've seen these small four ounce bottles and I've seen them online. But of course, if you watch my vlogs, you know where I live. I don't have time to wait five weeks, you know, for something to come in. Um, by the time I order and by the time it gets shipped, it takes me about two, three weeks to get something, and she was drinking six ounces, and this is four. So every time she'd finish this, I'd have to go back, refill it, and I just was, it was getting annoying. So, um, I would recommend these. Um, I will be using these again with the second baby, and I will end up buying the six ounce ones and continue to use the second bottle if the baby decides not to take these or decides to drink more than six ounces. So, yes, I would definitely recommend this. Um, I loved it. She loved the nipple. It's not huge. It's not, it looks pretty long, but it's really not. Um, and it's like really, like it's not hard or anything like that. And it's just the first flow. 
and stored until this day is 14 months and still uses the first a slow flow she doesn't use the medium flow she drinks so fast that she ends up choking on it so I just stay with the slow flow and that's what she uses and on to my second bottle that she uses now is this Playtex vent air one and I'll take it apart also um, I boil all my bottles when I clean them I stick them in the sink with boiling water and I let them sit I some half the time I will like every like couple weeks I'll boil everything again but other than that I just hand wash them with soapy hot water and stuff like that so this is the bottom of the bottle and it comes with this thing you just put this thing here and I wash my hands but I'll end up washing this just because I did that and you just shut it and voila so this one's a six ounce bottle and these are the ones I bought um I, again I did a lot of reviews and stuff while looking for bulk bottles I found these two and ended up going with this one because um, I almost like the stick and the thing stick and a thing the stick looking thing in the bottle more than I like this because I was getting I kind of worried about um, the holes on the bottom of this I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it you'll be able to see it right here them getting clogged and stuff like that and having to buy bottoms or um, you do have to replace these I'm sure you do I have but um, these are still like new but um, so yeah I ended up going with the Dr. Brown bottles first and then bought these because of the six ounce and um, she ended up liking this as well she did not have a problem taking the bottle she didn't have a problem switching bottles and this one's really good too this is a slow uh, Playtex natural latch and so yeah this is the second bottle I used I'd highly recommend both of these bottles um, I know this Playtex um, I'm not sure if it's this bottle or one of their other bottles has the drop line linen things that you put in there so you don't have to wash the bottles um, I'd rather not because that's just more money to spend rather than me taking an extra 10 or 15 minutes washing bottles I'd rather do that than spend more money um, if you are one that um, travels or at a daycare you your kids in a daycare or a babysitter and you really don't I mean either way you're gonna wash your bottles at home but if it's easier for someone to use one of those bags in the in the bottle like if you were to you know if it's just easier for them then I would recommend it but I didn't use it so these are the two bottles I use against it's the Playtex Vent Air and the Dr. Brown's bottle. Um, they did come in pink, but I just got the blue ones because I'm not really a pink fan. So that's that. And then back to the Similac Sensitive. I really like this formula. Um, I did buy a, I should have grabbed it, but it's the Dr. Brown's Pitcher. And I would grab it, but it's in our storage and it's back where she's sleeping. But it's about comparing to these four ounce bottles it's probably about this high it's probably two more inches if that um and it has i'll stick a picture right here and um so you put your water in it put your formula in it and it's like literally a pitcher it has this little thing it swirls around and it's like as if you were mixing it but it, it's attached to the pitcher you'll see in the um pitcher i attach here and i use that for a little while and the only thing I noticed with Similac, and it might be with other formulas, but I didn't know, I didn't notice because I didn't use anything else, that it had a lot of foam. Even in the bottles, I ended up using um, the Parenthood bottles, I think they are. Not for feedings, but just for mixing bottles. I'd mix it in there and then slowly mix it into whatever bottle I was using at the time because I noticed if I was to mix it in one of these in the bottles that I used there was just so much foam and she'd get hiccups like quick even not even finishing her bottle she'd get hiccups so I did notice with that that it created a lot of foam and there's just for me there's no way to prevent it um I other than that I really like the formula I've never had problems with the formula I've never had problems with you know and I've seen stuff on Facebook about stuff like it being moldy it having stuff in it um, I've never had a can that has gone bad or I've opened it and hasn't had a scoop yes Similac you need to put your scoops on top <laughs> or make like let me open it because this one's brand new I ended up um, 
switching Jordan to um, whole milk at one years old. So I still have three cans of them, but I wound up keeping them. These don't expire till March 2018, so that that will last even for my next baby if I don't breastfeed. Um, no, I'm not pregnant now, but if I don't find someone, I'll end up donating them to the fire department. Um, that's what we do here in our town. Anything baby that you want to donate, you can always donate to them. Anyway, so on your back of your lids, maybe you should put like a notch and you put your scoop there so it like holds it. I don't know. That's just me. <laughs> I hate digging for them. But yes, I love the, the formula. Um, I haven't had any problems with it again. So, yes, that's what I wanted to talk about because I've seen a lot of people on YouTube breastfeeding and then all of a sudden they're using bottle or trying new bottles. And this are these are the ones I liked. So, definitely would recommend these. I can't even hold it straight to show you. Ta-da! <laughs> But yeah, so thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions about the bottles or how um, how it kind of made a decision with these two bottles rather than one that you might use, or if you use a bottle and might think that I might like it with my next one that's similar to these with the you know vent air things, um, go ahead and shoot me a comment down below, or you can follow me on Twitter and I'll show you my Twitter account. I made one. I have a personal one, but you can just follow me on this one. Let me turn my screen down. Um, it's just Stuart Five Vlogs. My phone's not working. There it is. Stuart Vlogs. That's what it looks like. It has the same picture and stuff. Um, it has on now, but I just up yeah at so the A with the circle. Stuart Five Vlogs, and I just put up my um, labor and delivery story just went up. So anywho, thank you for watching. Again, like this video, subscribe if you haven't already, and we will see you guys in my next video.